Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today I want to share a news story with you that was pretty optimistic. In all this doom and gloom, we're seeing market prices, crypto turmoil. It was really a breath of fresh air to see that a new mining pool is actually opening. They believe it's going to be due to Ethereum proof of stake being delayed at least until 2023. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me. Let's get started. As a GPU miner, I feel the pressure of these crypto prices just dropping out from underneath us. I've watched my portfolio diminish. We've sold a lot of coins as well as we try to hodl some coins. We use it to make some of our payments, for maybe for some of our equipment bills, whether it be credit cards, as well as making those monthly electric bills. I have a sizable investment as well as I have a sizable electricity bill. And even today, once I've seen the price of Ethereum come up a little bit, as well as the price of Bitcoin peak up a little bit, I had to sell sell some of it. This way I know, okay, I don't want to tap my backup reserves. I want to still at least be able to make my electricity payments. And at least we're still profitable. So that's a good thing. Some channels I see, they're trying to say, well, the mining profitability is coming down and therefore you see the difficulty is going to be coming down. If you look at the actual difficulty, the difficulty is going up. And even over this past month, I see it going up. Even over this past week, I see it's maybe at best almost horizontal, but I don't see it diminishing. I just seen my profitability has been diminishing as well as I know the amount of coin that I'm mining to hodl is lower now than it was last month and the month before. It's just taking a realistic look at it. If I look at sites, even um, Flexpool, which is one of my main sites I mine on, for a full hash 3080 card, I'd be getting about 392 before electric cost, so a little bit over $3 a day. If I look at what to mine for a 6600, let me just calculate it, which a lot of people have 6600s. They're only making a little bit over a dollar a day, a dollar for a day after electricity costs. So the time to recover that, it's going to be a long-term investment. We're not full of the negative doom and gloom on things. We see some positive to this. And a news story that caught my eye today that I really wanted to share with you, it definitely lifted my spirits up a little bit. It was on Coindesk. I seen this published on yahoo.com as well as on Coinbase. But this article is the company Luxure. There starts an Ethereum mining pool as proof of stake shift looms. This is kind of opposite. They're starting a mining pool, even though as proof of work is supposed to be going to proof of stake very soon. There's some GPU shown. Luxure, the crypto mining software and services company, is launching an Ethereum mining pool, even as the cryptocurrency is currently planning to abolish mining from the network. So if you've followed, I guess, crypto mining, you know that Ethereum is supposed to be going from proof of work to proof of stake. The unofficial date that people are putting hypothetically is sometime probably mid 2022. But here you have a new company. You know, they've been around in Bitcoin mining from my research. I'm not too familiar with them. If you know more about Luxure or even some of their pools, please drop me a comment down below. I'd like to learn more about them. I'm still doing some research on this. But this was exciting. This company, they feel that the proof of stake is going to be extended even longer. Let's read a little more. They're working with large institutional miners, including Hut8, which I believe is a large Bitcoin farm, and several retail miners in North America to provide a US-based Ethereum mining pool, the company said in a statement on Monday. The mining pool is outfitted for MEV. The pool will also be compatible with its catalyst service, which enables miners to get paid in Bitcoin for their validation on the Ethereum network. So I would assume that's something like maybe the same way you would mine with NiceHash. Even if you're mining Ethereum, you get paid in Bitcoin. Maybe you have the option. And that too, as well as two miners does that as well. But I'm going to be looking more into that. And once again, if you have some information on this or you're familiar, maybe you're a Bitcoin miner on it. And if you have some experience with Luxure, I would love to know your feedback. So please drop me a comment down below. Let's go on to this. Luxure is launching the mining pool service amid efforts to switch Ethereum to a proof of stake consensus model from its current proof of work model mechanism, which eliminates the need for miners. This transition has been delayed multiple times. However, Luxure is not worried about the proof of stake switch. We've been tracking ETH 2.0 developments closely and we're launching the pool even now because we believe there's a high probability that the Ethereum transition to proof of stake won't happen this year. Luxure's co-founder and chief operating officer said. 
So, wow, that's great. If you have a new mining pool, I would assume they're investing some serious dollars to probably do this and start this up. But if you have a new mining pool starting up and we're only tentatively months away from the earliest time that Ethereum may be going proof of stake, saying that we're starting up and we're going to be creating a new mining pool for Ethereum. And they're doing this with some optimism. And maybe they have insight that I'm not aware of that there's a good chance that Ethereum proof of stake may not happen at least until 2023. So, wow, to me, that is like big news. If I heard that and if I could get a guarantee on that from someone, let me tell you, I would sleep really good tonight. And I think a lot of you would too. So I was really excited with this story and I just wanted to share it with you. I see there's so much doom and gloom. We see there's a lot of anxiety and just heightened worry about where crypto price is going. And I think I just plan to keep mining through it right now and hopefully do the best I can. If I see some peaks in there, I may sell off some because I have some equipment costs to cover as well as some electricity. I know everyone's in a different situation. So some people may not feel pressure on this. It may be just a sideline or a hobby. And other people may be very deep in it and it may hurt them. And my heart goes out to you for it. We're going to keep trying to keep on top of this, but we just want to throw a little bit of sunshine out there for everyone. We've all seen the cloudy days and hopefully we have some sunny, bright days ahead, but still keeping it very, very real. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already it may increase your hash rates even higher because i'm trying to do everything i can to find the best way we can get higher hash rates and better efficiency out of our full hash as well as lhr cards we welcome all your questions and comments please put them down below until next time we'll see you on the next video happy mining